happiness. What is happiness? And why is it that out of all emotions that we feel throughout the emotional spectrum that we have, it's a kaleidoscope, guys, of both good and bad, why is happiness the most elusive emotion? And is it even one? Well, let me be the first to tell you that happiness isn't quite an emotion. It isn't even entirely a choice. It isn't quite anything, not even the chemicals in our brain. Happiness is a state of satiation. See, when you are happy, you are whole. When you are happy, you not only attract people, but you radiate of the abundance of your heart. And this is so because of eudaimonia. Eudaimonia being the Greek term for human uh, flourishing, you know, reaching your potential, becoming fulfilled. And in finding fulfillment, in finding your potential and realizing that, by living your purpose, it is actually very much, very much possible to be happy. You may not feel it immediately. You may not feel as, you know, along the path that you walk in life. Not quite away, right away anyways. Happiness is an appreciation for the journey that you have walked, see? This is because as the journey actually makes you, as the journey transforms you, right? Happiness then will be found because, as I said, happiness is a state of satiation and it is concerned with the actualization of the self it is a byproduct. And to seek happiness for its own sake, well, inevitably, leads down hedonism. You will instead be place, uh, chasing pleasure. And, well, if I had to describe the one time, possibly the time I was most happiest in life, right? Oh, as though a bright, shining star had actually replaced my heart, the beams of which radiated my pearly whites, the illuminated my eyes. And it was as though this newfound star of my heart threatened to scorch the world around me. And I could feel actually everything around me drinking in the euphoria that I felt. Well, what does this all mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means when we discuss its counterpart, happiness's counterpart, sorrow. You can't really understand one too much about the other. And sorrow is when that very same heart of yours, that bright shining star, or you what could have been, is a place of a black hole. And instead of being whole, you are devoured more and more until you are empty, a writhing husk of darkness. Oh, and then there's the weight. Well, a better way to put it, the mass, if you think in terms of physics. Now, you're going to feel hollow within when you are feeling sadness, and you will feel crushed from without, a great weight upon your body. And then, well, you're in a depressive state. But now let's come back to the inverse. When we're talking about happiness, you feel like you're lighter than ever before. Your presence has some sort of radiance to it. Everything around you feels more alive, and that's true. The placement of this mass, of this weight, is actually a very distinct. Though grief happens to be more contagious, ladies and gentlemen, happiness is more attractive. And you want to be around happy people more than you want to be around sad people. Is that correct? What you're going to see is that most people, most normies, well, they're not particularly happy, and they keep themselves more. And yet, hidden among these things are, hidden among the masses are beacons of light, if you would, and enclaves of happy people. And why is this? Well, friends and family are things that happy people are more likely to possess, correct? And as well as the fact that happy people tend to attract more people. And what you'll see then is that people who are happy also tend to engage in more pro-social behavior. The more distinct, actually. The more in the public eye. And they're more likely to do good because they feel good. And here's the real kicker, guys. Here's why I'm telling you all these facts, right? Happiness is associated with wealth. Well, why is this? Because happy people are more likely to be self-made. And not because they inherit this wealth, not because they possess it, but because happy people tend to prolong and propagate their happiness. They tend to continue their happiness. They tend to accumulate it by obtaining wealth, not just merely possessing it, and more so spending it philanthropically. They will do good with the money they have worked hard to get. And what does this all mean, guys? What does it all mean? It boils down to this. 
if you want to be happy, then you are self-made. You have realized your potential, and you seek to guide others down the same path of fulfillment, or at least a very similar one. You help them to realize their full potential. Even if it means taking care of their essentials, even if it means giving them a warm blanket that night, giving them food by donating to a reputable charity, you're a positive influence on people. You are a net contributor to the wealth of humanity if you want to be happy. Be it the arts, the sciences, philosophy, even if you're the best gosh darn janitor out there, might whopping the, uh, you know, mopping up those floors. You're content with your work, and you're content with its impact on others, and you are thereby content with yourself, because happiness, ladies and gentlemen, is the mark of mastery, the prestige that we seek, and as it acts as a gravitational force attracting people to us, it is the true weight of glory. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Free Inquiry. I hope that you enjoyed, possibly, again, one of the most important topics. Go out there. Be happy, do good, and until the next time, guys.